Sanchez, sure, he did a lot of nasty stuff, but still the great thing he did was much larger than the bad stuff he did. And seeing th this situation all right now, we actually, uh, we can't actually blame him to be a bit brutal to some extreme people at the time. The kicker is, it didn't just stick, it didn't just, uh, it, it, it filtered out to beyond just the extremes right not that even treating extreme people like that is is the right thing to do um he didn't there's a lot of problems in iran at the time right there was only pockets that were seeing a lot of prosperity right like the centers of power were seeing a lot of prosperity but the rural regions weren't right which is one of the main problems that we're seeing right now in the United States, in Canada, in the Western world, is that a lot of money and power is being centralized more and more, and people on the outside of the centralized power and centralized cities are very upset with what's happening, right? So for example, during the trucker protest in Canada, so supposedly, a lot of residents in Ottawa were pretty pissed off at the truckers, right? Well, they live in the capital city, right? They're not seeing what the government dictates are doing to the rest of the population. And the peasants, the workers, the farmers, right? Those people who are not close to the central power and close, close to all that money that's being the crumbs that are being thrown at them, right they're not making money off the government right they're working class right all of those people got together and said not all of them but many of them got together the largest protest in canadian history by a long shot right all the people in the outskirts majority got together and went to the center of power and center of power brutalized them right are we about to see a certain type of same thing how roll out in certain other countries that have made the same mistake that the Shah did. Are they? Are we? Right? 